Hey, we're down here. So you've decided to get a job. Congratulations! The first step of getting a job is deciding what kind of job you would like. You could be a police officer. You could be a doctor. You could even be a pilot on an airplane. There are so many options. You can find job openings in the classifieds in the newspaper, at a job fair, or even with the growing power of the internet. Once you've decided a job, you then need to write a resume. A resume must include your name and contact information so your employer can contact you. A resume must be clear and concise. A hard to read resume is of course a bad resume. Make sure to add in all your great achievements. Go ahead and toot yourself up. You are your best cheerleader. Here's a short video on job applications. It is very important to fill out every form to the best of your abilities. You'll likely need to have all the important documents assigned to you, such as your social security card, your birth certificate, expired library card, and any other important identification. The way you present yourself in a job interview is paramount. You need to be well-dressed. It's also important to be well-mannered. It's never a bad thing to be too rehearsed. Try practicing in a mirror. Here's some advice to keep in mind during your interview. To start, a good handshake is vital. Make sure to show good eye contact. It shows you're not afraid and that you're confident in yourself and your abilities. When answering questions, show your knowledge about the company. It'll show that you're dedicated. And that's really all there is to it. If you follow all those steps, you should have no trouble at all getting a job. All right, all right, are we done here? Come on, Karen, give me a doggy biscuit. Of course, Harold. Working with this guy's a nightmare.